Today's world is faster, more connected, and more influenced by technology than ever. For better or worse, it controls almost every facet of our lives. But a new kind of technology is running rampant in today's world. Automation. But what exactly is it? Automation is the use of primarily self-operating equipment to streamline tasks. For decades, the widespread adoption of machines concerned the public, who feared oppressive robots would strip workers of their jobs. A typical factory in the mid-20th century looked like this. While robots weren't very popular, some companies had begun to employ the first rudimentary automatic systems. Fast forward to the present. Robots are being used everywhere, from automated call centers, to performing surgeries, to manufacturing cars. These mechanized arms are a common sight in factories all around today's world. The problem? They're completely unmanned, powered solely by artificial intelligence. Some would call the adoption of automation the dawn of a new age. Others deem technology a threat. The robot revolution. But what truly lies ahead? With technology's continuous integration into our lives, many are quick to label automation a net positive to society. However, with the unfavorable consequences outweighing the benefits, the use of robots in the workforce should be closely regulated to ensure worker prosperity. To most corporations, why not switch over to a machine? With recent developments in artificial intelligence, robots can learn and make decisions for themselves, steadily becoming more capable and cheaper than human workers in the long run. From automation alone, an estimated $15.7 trillion will be added to the global GDP by 2030, a boost of 14%. This increase is mainly attributed to the machine's operational costs only requiring a fraction of the money a salaried worker is paid. Alongside drastic increases in profits, robots boost time efficiency and productivity. In 1900, the average workweek was about 70 hours. By the 21st century, however, significant use of mechanization and automation would cut that number to 40. Furthermore, by 2025, robotization would boost productivity by up to 30% in many industries and lower total labor costs by 18% or more in the world's biggest exporting countries, such as the United States, Germany, China, and Japan. Finally, while not a full compensation for the lost jobs, many industries can implement automation while still creating careers. There are always going to be other positions available that people can train for. But really, you're competing with other countries around the world, so you may protect them here, but you know, in other countries, they're going to try to produce uh, their products as cheap as possible. So if automation is the key, um, that's something that they'll do. This is especially true in China, which has been at the forefront of automation and artificial intelligence technologies. This warehouse is a service center built by one of their largest online retailers. Do you see it? Or rather, do you not see it? With complete automation, the factory is devoid of life. No workers, no humans. This is the JD.com Lights Out Distribution Center, run solely by machines day in, day out. Who's to say companies in America like Amazon won't adopt similar technology? To some employees, automation is threatening to their future role in the workforce, and they have ample reason to be worried. Right now, obviously, um, we're not at the level where we can automate like certain specialized types of jobs, but I think still autonomy is a threat to like a substantial part of um, working class people in America. Even Elon Musk, billionaire and CEO, expresses his concerns for a future filled with artificial intelligence. AI is a fundamental risk to the existence of human civilization. Many others are hesitant on allowing machines into our workforce. We all have to be thinking about uh, not just new industries, but also the millions of workers, many on the lower end of the economic spectrum, who could have their jobs or ways of life disrupted by AI. By 2030, Oxford Economics estimates that 20 million manufacturing jobs across the world would be displaced due to automation. The United States is a significant part of that trend, with more and more companies implementing robots to speed up production. The Oxford Economics Robot Vulnerability Index predicts that the states at the highest risk of labor disruption include Oregon, Texas, Louisiana, Indiana, and North Carolina. Robots aren't just invading the manufacturing industry, they're also beginning to enter the service sector. With advances in artificial intelligence, robots will break into the healthcare, retail, hospitality, transport, and construction industries before we know it. Automation where robots handle personal information poses a concern for the privacy of consumers. Oh yeah, there's there's definitely risk to security. I mean, anything that's connected to the internet, um, you know, provides the potential for people to be able to access those pieces of equipment. The biggest question is, how do we address this eminent issue? How could we experience the benefits of automation while still exercising caution? There's actually a lot of 
lot of rules and laws that still need to be created, right? Because we still don't know fully how AI will affect everything. The robot should work alongside workers, not in place of them. There needs to be a balance between the potentially endless benefits and disastrous social dislocation that will come with automation. This is the challenge that our future president would have to solve. And the biggest challenge for your new president, when we think about how we're going to employ more people here, is going to be also technology. Forward thinking, proactive solutions need to be developed. Whether a rebuilding of America's infrastructure or innovative welfare programs such as the universal basic income, something must be done. The first step to combat this predicament is to strictly regulate the implementation of automation, keeping workers a priority so that society can evolve to tackle the robot before the machine evolves to tackle the man.